Hello everyone, Chris here and welcome back to Airport CEO, the Moritz Bauer International Airport, or rather the Moritz Bauer um, International Field at the moment, because we just have an airfield. Um, yeah, welcome back to episode 2. For those of you who joined us for the, the kickoff live stream on Sunday, or those who, who have watched it back since, thank you very much for joining us. Really sorry for the weird audio issues towards the end of that episode um i'm not sure what happened the the streaming software that i use it, to be fair it's the first time i've used it to actually stream um recording wise as you can hear the the audio is fine but we got an hour in or so with the with the game live streaming and it all went a bit crackly uh, never mind anyway we're, we're here with episode two we're not live streaming i'm recording this uh I don't know, on a on a Tuesday evening time. Um, so, here we are, the, 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 the Moritz Bauer International Airfield. Um, let me show you what we've got for those of you who are joining at episode two, if I can. I'll press the, the tab key. No, that is, yes, that is what I wanted. Uh, here we go, Moritz Bauer, there he is, our CEO. Uh, we're based somewhere here in, in South Yorkshire, I think. We're near Doncaster. Um, closest city. Doncaster is not a city. Um, and we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We are earning a little bit of money. Uh, we, we've we set up our, our airfield here. Um, planes are coming in. They can land here. We've got a, a fueling service look. And slowly... It's the dead of night, by the way. That's why it's so dark. The, for you, those of you just joining, the game isn't always this dark. Um... We've got a fence going coming up as well. Um, I don't know if it's finished as of yet. Let me see. We've still got builders slowly working on it. Jun Chong here. He's uh, he's one of our employees that we've got working on it. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we put the fence up because on the live stream we were infested with a a herd of cows on the runway, which was awful. I've had a look to see what it wants us to do next in the game. It wants us to now look towards building a terminal, which I wish I'd have known beforehand because I wouldn't have put this fence up. Uh, I, I would have I would have planned it out a little bit better, but it's no matter. We're we're doing okay money wise. We're earning little bits. Um, these planes that come in, uh, uh, we're charging them five hundred pounds, five hundred dollars. Sorry to land. Don't know why it's in. I wish I could change it. Can I change it to pounds? Probably not. Doesn't matter. But yes, yeah, so we're looking at the tutorial. It's uh, we, we're kind of following that on. It says congratulations. You know the basics of an airport operation. Better than <laughs> better than nothing, eh? <laughs> Bless us. You can continue expanding your airport for general aviation aircraft, earning money from services uh, from servicing these aircrafts. Alternatively. You can expand your airport to handle commercial flights, which will carry passengers. Oh, when we're ready, click ready to proceed. Now, as I say, I know that the next thing it's going to want us to do is build a terminal. And I think that's what I want us to do. Like, don't get me wrong, I love these little planes coming in from all over the country. Where, where have you come from? You've just flown from Blackpool, from Belfast, Gloucestershire, Derry... It's great. It really is good. I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, but I do think that it will be worth our while to um, build a terminal and get some commercial flights going in. But all in good time. All in good time. We've got this fueling lorry here offering the fueling service to people. And how is the money going? Let's just watch it. Money's going up. That's good. That's not bad at all. Cool. Is that going up? Still going up? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So, what do you want us to do next? You want us to construct a terminal. So, this is what I need to think it through. The terminal itself, it needs to be at least 20 by 15. I think we could go bigger. It's where do we want to build it? And what do we want to... I'd rather... I'd like it to get to daytime before we start planning this out. I might speed it up a little bit just so we get to... Get to the day. If we, yeah, because I, because I, I just want to plan out in the in the daytime. Um, it's gonna be fun. Oh gosh, it takes ages to pass the time. 
I could skip the day, but I'm not going to. I want them to build everything. Let's think this through then. So, where... You've got to think, we've got all this land here that we can eventually expand into. So, realistically, we're going to want to maybe... Maybe build a terminal building somewhere here. I know that that's quite a way away from the runway, but we could then build some more taxiing. Could even build a second runway, to be fair. Maybe not. If we built it here... Let's think logically. If we built it here, the terminal, we can then build bigger runways here and maybe here. And we can keep the terminal buildings kind of central. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Look at this. Here he is. Look! It's one of our... Pause. One of our... <laughs> one of our cows. <laughs> Absolute mad thing. Just roaming the field. But you tell you what, he's... Oh no, they're still building this fence. We're going to have to take down parts of this fence, but... I think what we'll do is we will build the terminal building somewhere here. And then... Yeah. Yeah, we'll have a road maybe coming up here. Terminal building. Taxiing here. Yes, we'll do it that way. Because this can always be the... the the domestic part of the, the airport. You know, like, places like Heathrow have so many terminals, some are just domestic flights only, so we can keep this bit small. And you've got to think, Moritz Power International Airport starts off small. Oh my god, we're on 6G! That's awesome! So, let's, let's, let's zoom... I tell you what, can I, can I make you smaller for, for now? Does that work? Yes, it does. Cool. Just turn my volume down a little bit. So, infrastructure transportation. Let me pause. So we can have... We can have the road continue along, I guess, up here. And then have a building just off to the side. What I really want... Is a one way... Oh, we could make it, I guess. Let me just think this through. We could build like a little um, one-way system. That makes sense, doesn't it? He says. I mean, it's going to cost us a lot of money, but I'm okay with that. The main thing is then getting planes to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's keep the time going. Soon the sunrise will come up, I imagine, and we will be able to... To, to start planning this in the sun. I know that we've got this little light here, which is great. Like, we could... Oh, we can plan it here. Let me... I'm being daft, aren't I? We can plan it out in the dark. Don't be such a ninny, Chris. So, let's... Should we continue this road here? Look. At £5,000. Dollars. Where do we want the building to go? Let's think that... In this top corner? Here? Maybe here. We'll do it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it here. I know what we'll do. So we'll build this a little bit further along. To there. We will then have it come... What I want... So I'm thinking this through. What we need... Not a contractor site. We want bus stops. Rotate. So if I build bus stops... Like this... So they come along here. What side of the road do they drive on here? It's this side, isn't it? It's American. So they drive on the on the right, which means we don't want them crossing over each other on the way back out. So they could go up and here and down and that way. So if I if I'm making it one way, which I'd like to, we'll put some roads there. How, how thick are bus stops? Bus shelters. Oh, wow. Oh, you're cool. You are pretty cool. So, we put them... Doesn't even need to be that thick, does it, really? Let's go... Here. And here. And another one here. And then we've also got taxi ranks. They're cool. And maybe we could make the taxi... Right, hang on, hang on. Be right, 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 right. 
Yes, you're right. You're right, guys. We build a road up here like so. Awesome. And then we build... Ooh! Car stops into... Okay. Nice. So... Oh, no. How do I... Um, how do I delete things? I want to delete you. There we go. Can delete you because it's too, too... I was... I, I had nice... Right, what did you... Small is... Oh, you're right. Okay, small. Medium. Actually, do you know what? We'll, we'll, we don't need them spaced out too much. Apologies. Like, apologies for my silliness. Why won't you delete? I want to delete you. Oh, okay. Because I'm building the wrong things. Sorry. Right, so, 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 so. One there. Miss a gap. One there. Miss a gap. One there. In here, we will build some crossings there. This this will make sense, I promise. We then get uh, sidewalks here and here and here and here. Okay, 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 okay. And then we can get some taxi ranks. We'll put them one, two. We'll put them next to each other. Like so. Like that. So far, just taxis and buses dropping people off. So they drop people off. And then we can have... Maybe we can have the car... The, the people from the... Getting drops off by cars here. What do we think? Is this a lot of money to be spending on, on nothing? Yeah, we'll put some we'll put some normal car bays here. I know what I'm on about, he says. So we'll put uh, one there and one there as well. <laughs> okay, and then and then we can put forget here we go again. So the road goes along there, we can then get rid of you, because we don't need you there. But we can then build a little sidewalk that goes all the way up here. How do the bus shelters work? Oh, what's the difference? So, standard bus shelter, or glass. Oh, we're going standard, guys. <laughs> don't get me, don't be silly. How do you, you need to look? I don't really know. I, how? Okay, I don't really. Maybe I'll put them down later after I work it out. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, no, no, no. I'm, I'm happy with that. So, what did you? What did you want? You wanted us to build. It has to be twenty by fifteen. A terminal building. So, terminal, awesome, the terminal foundations, so what are you, 20 by 15, can that be 15 by 20, no, I mean I have, this is going to be huge, what have I, do? I've really mis underestimated how big this thing needs to be. What, you reckon you just need to be that big? That's insane. Um, why isn't it, why is it not zoning it out? Have I clicked the wrong thing? Terminal found out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, no. Right, yeah, that's... Okay. I was like, geez, this is going to be tiny. But 20 by... Should we just make it... Let's make it even bigger. Let's go mad. Let's spend half a mil. It will be worth it for this size. <laughs> I promise it will be worth Gee, you are making me very laggy. Why are you all of a sudden laggy? That's cool. Um, and I'll tell you what we'll do as well. We will hire some more contractors. How, what's the max? Yeah, bring them all in. Bring them all in. Oh, right. Stop, stop, stop. Stop the time. So we've, we, we've planned that down. It says place a door. We do need... <laughs> 
oh yeah, Chris, you need doors in this place. Okay, that's all right. You want? Oh God, you want doors, do you? Gee, what about a large door? How big are you? You're, oh, you're quite cool. You match our, um, these things here, our, our zebra crossings. So that's pretty cool. Do we need another to keep it symmetrical? Probably. Should we put in, I'll put in another, um, crossroads cross, <laughs> to, to sing you a 90s, was it 90s that song? Maybe. Okay, so, oh, so I place some doors uh, to demolish a specific area. Do I need to have demolished the the things to put them in? I hope not. Uh, do you know what? While we're here as well, how about some large windows to go along with that? I don't know why. I don't know. Does this will this look good? Oh yeah. Oh, looking out onto the to the taxi in the bus rank. Oh, that's cool. Right, one big window there, and then none at the side. Is that right? Yeah, awesome. Cool. Let's let's press play, and let's speed the time up and see what happens. Let's triple speed that bad boy. And see what. Oh, look, all the all the workers are here. With all the resources. And the daytime has arrived. And they're building it quickly. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. So now we have the basic passenger flow configured. And soon the terminal will be buzzing with life. Before that, let's take care of your future staff. Obviously. No, I think it's going to ask me to build like a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A staff room. A staff room is where it's going to go next. This is cool. Look at it. Oh. Oh, I like this little bus terminal. Oh, I can see where you could get like little bus stops going. That's cool. That is cool. It's very functional. There's not much room for decoration, is there? Do you get decorations? I want to see if there's decorations. Vending machines, trash cans. Ooh, street lights. Well, you may be important. Uh, a poor light illuminates surroundings average street light impressive what's the, dif what's the difference I'm obviously going to want impressive aren't I like, don't be we'll put some here look I, d I don't know what these are going to look like but hopefully they will agree that it looks very impressive. As per the description. I'll put some here. So they all match up. Look. Oh, they're expensive. Are they? Oh, very expensive. It's worth it though, you know, it's for the people. Gosh, they're taking forever to build. Is that because we're still building the fence? Are you still building the fence? The cows can't... Well, the cow can't get in, look. So, that's a positive. The cow has nowhere to... The, the cow cannot bother my planes that are coming in. Oh, we're losing a lot of money very quickly. Just, just build this foundation, please. Ah, oh, looking good. It's because I put paths down, isn't it? We need lights and... And all that jazz. That's fine. I'm willing. To, I'm willing to spend now, <laughs> in order to to make this look great. It's a big terminal building. I don't know what we're going to call it. The. I mean, it's obviously the Moritz Bauer International Airport. Um. I don't know. Names in the comments below. Suggestions for what we want to call this grand, grand hall. Ah, oh, it's slowly, slowly but surely getting built. So what do you want me to do next? It says, office and decorations. No, I don't want to do that, do I? I do need to, oh, you want me to designate a staff room. Okay, well I can think about that while they're building. Staff room probably needs to be somewhere 
at the back. Let's. How is this going to work? How's my airport going to work? So you come in to this front bit here. The front bit will be where the kiosks are, I imagine. And then to the back is more the terminal. So if we... Let me think. If you... Because it would be good if we could get people going out one door and coming in the rest. So maybe we could split it down the middle. I got a... What's this? That's the door, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we could split it down here, which means we could put like a little staff room here, I guess. That could be cool. Yeah, let's just... Staff zone. So we've got... This defines a room where your staff can do their administrative work or relax when there's nothing to do. Defines a staff zone only zone to restrict passengers' access in your terminal. And that's an office desk. Cool. I can do all of this. This is this is going to be great. So, I think we'll put it down here. Because we've got to think about things like toilets and... Let's measure how far across this is. That's, that's not a, a, a legal position, is it? What's that? Let's... So how big is this then? Oh, it doesn't help me. Tell me how big it is. 78 blocks, is that right? Is that... Yeah, 78. Jeez. That's massive. That's actually bigger than I thought. So if we... Can I divide that by four? Not really. Can divide it by three? 26. Yeah, that makes sense. So if we go 26 and we make it... Yeah. So I want to start it out here. No! You fool. I didn't mean to click that. I'm sorry. Oh my god. This this is controlling. Awesome. Yes. Delete, delete that staff room, please. Delete it. Why are you not deleting what I want? Delete the staff room. What? Can you go demolish? I don't want that there. I want it here. 26 across. Like this, this, ta this office space here is going to be a big space. Can you, can you get, mm. what is happening there? Okay, we'll, we'll, we will pretend that it's, uh, that it's worked. And we'll put a, a wall around it, look. A wall, a wall, a wall. Great. And then we will have some doors. We'll make them um, a s small door. We'll make it a small door there we'll have another small door how many across three there that'll be it for now i really hope that that disappears because i don't like how do you, how do you how do you deselect No, because that. I mean, I don't want to do that. How do you? How do you cr less like, get rid of the the zone? No, I don't want to delete that room, but I do. I do want to delete you. Maybe if. I, what if I do this and then I say, no, go away. Does that work? Does that work? No. No, it's not. Explanations on a postcard, please. How do you? Hold this to remove. Can I? There we go. Awesome. Sorry. Gee. Jeez. That took a lot of effort, didn't it? So we're building. Well, okay. So now place a few desks and other th and other types of seating. Okay. Cool. So we got a little a little desk. So you come in here. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> before we do, before we do any of that. Well, let's think. You come in here, we will then have a bank of desks over here. A bank of desks over here. That's quite nice. We then need... Where do I get seats? 
Restaurant and cafe? No. Seats. Seats, please. Desks. No. I haven't unlocked that. How do you... I want seats. Seating. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So, um... I don't want to give them gate seating. I want to give them... I want to give them some armchairs, you know? So, one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There, like so. What else? What else? If you were... No, oh, I mean, I probably should have put settees, should I? That's okay. Uh, you can have some settees to sit here. I'm sparing no expense on I don't what I don't want okay I don't want the the unions to, to come in and be like you're treating your workers badly I, I genuinely I want to run a good airport here and I want them to to realize that they're they're wanted these workers we want you here so yeah please don't feel sad what else we got we'll, we'll put some bins down just over here and one over here as well. And we'll put some by the desks. Because if they're working and they're having some food. And I'm sure I saw something about vending machines. Walls, doors, trash cans. Vending machines. Drinks and a food one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, is that the front? Yep. Where, where should we put that? We don't want to put it in too near the desks. Oh, we'll put it here in the, in the little common room. Common room? They're not. Uh, they're not college kids. They're, they're in, employees of the, the the airport. There we go. Ooh, should we? Sp <laughs> what else can they spend money on? He says. What about floors? Flooring, carpets, fancy mats, or laminate flooring? Nice wood. No, I mean. I like them. I, I, I like our new workers. Ah, oh, we'll give them carpets. Here, you can have carpet. We'll have a nice red carpet in here. That's nice, isn't it? Look at this place! Oh, that's awesome! Let's, let's stop the time. I said stop. It's beautiful. Uh, let's beautify this terminal with some nice plants. Where do I get plants from? Decorations. Oh my god. You didn't tell me we could have this. Oh yeah. We are going mad with plants. So I'll dec I mean I'll decorate the whole terminal. I haven't I want to plan this properly. This proper terminal needs to be planned out. Okay. But. Oh. Oh this is We'll put one in the corner and another in the corner. Maybe <laughs> they're so expensive. <laughs> they're so needlessly expensive. Oh my gosh, this this hedges. <laughs> well, of course we need hedges to go. Oh no, I would put it here, but we want to expand. We may potentially expand into this area, so we don't want to do that. Tell you what, we'll do though. We will put a little. Can I? This must be placed inside or on a head. Oh, okay. So it has to be on a... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a shame. Is it, he says? No, it's not. Let's get some topiary under the windows. Oh, this is just beautiful. Yes. Give us our green... Spe this is... Here was I saying, oh, it's very functional and not very pretty. We're putting... Oh, and look, it's night time and the lights are on. Oh, that's nice. I think we need more. We need more lights. I'm spending too much money. I'm so sorry. Do they have to be impressive? Can we go average? I can, I can go with average for now. We'll put some there. We'll put some average ones there. Just to light people across the road is my, my thinking. That's cool. 
Cool, 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 cool. We've got a lot of workers on the shift today. Before you can accept a commercial airline and handling the six passengers, we need a commercial license. So let's set up an office space in the staff room for the airport's admin to do R&D. Good idea. Oh, this, I mean, this uh, staff room looks a lot better than this one here. I, I've worked in, in, I've worked in many an office during my time on this planet. And the one thing I would say, whilst we've got desks here and a nice breakout space here, and whilst open plan offices are certainly in, in keeping with the design of office spaces now, if I was a worker here, it would really bug me that these people were on break. So what I'm going to do, because I'm thinking, I know open plan, oh, it's what you want. You want open plan, Chris. Maybe. But what I also think is, if I was a worker here, I would perhaps not appreciate all the noise. So I'm going to put a wall around this little space. It's very narrow, isn't it? It's a narrow staff room. A narrow... Um, what's it called? Office space. But that's okay. We can put some doors in there. It just keeps the sound out. So that, that people who are in the breakout space don't interrupt the people working. That's just a good idea for me, I think. So... Uh, next, hire at least two administrators. They will work on this R&D project and unlock new objects. So we need to open the tab. We need to go to staff. We need to look at applicants. Let's narrow this down to administrators. And we've got five applicants. Okay. We have Alexander Gruber, hopefully a relation to Hans Gruber. Andre Ruzun. We have Chan Chong. We have Istvan Horvath and we have Veronica Novak. Um, they all come with different demands. Some are more skilled than others. So, I'm just looking. Sorry, sorry. The pause there was me looking over their CVs to see who is the most suited. Um, now, Istvan, uh, Istvan and Alexander between you and me and you are hate listeners and watchers you are hr in this situation veronica novak is far very she is a superior candidate in this situation she is a hundred percent qualified the problem is she's come in with a very high wage demand very high she's probably come from a management job herself she's got that experience she can probably demand 42 dollars an hour that's great we're we're still little, and I and I genuinely think whilst Andre and Chan, I don't believe this is the job for them. I do believe that Estevan, Estevan and Alexander, at twenty seven dollars an hour and twenty three, are more suited to this. So we're going to hire you two. We'll keep you, we'll, Veronica. We're going to keep in touch. We're going to keep in touch. Okay, keep us on LinkedIn. Keep us there. We you, we will be in touch. It's not you. It's us. Okay. It's not you. It's us. So we've hired them. Cool. Now we need to go back to the tabs. Apologies. Uh, operations and R&D. Projects. Okay. Start a new project. You want me to research a commercial license. So we assume we click on this. We will start the project. We assign two administrators to it. Our two administrators being Istvan... Alexander Gruber. <laughs> oh, look at... Right. <laughs> I put this wall in thinking, oh, of course no one will go and stand in there. <laughs> but all the workers who have nothing to do are <laughs> just sat here. <laughs> They're not sitting down. They're not having a relax. This guy is. Who are you? Oh! It's Moritz! It's Moritz Bauer! Oh, he's having the only person sit down sitting down on the job is Moritz Bauer. How very appropriate. <laughs> okay, okay. So Moritz Bauer is having a sit down. Good for Moritz. Um, 
And yeah, so this is the administration office. In my head, I put the wall up thinking the builders will have nothing to do. They won't go in there because that's an office. They'll just sit at the chairs. No, no, no. Look at them. Poor Alex and Istvan are already complaining about the noise. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about this. We're a work in progress. It, I feel we've got some building work to do. To get this commercial license. We, we, we've got more building work to do. So I don't want to dismiss all my builders yet. Look at those hedges by the way. Awesome. I don't want to get rid of the builders just yet. But uh, this, <laughs> this isn't suitable is it? It's not a good. It's not conducive to a good working environment. Um, cool. So how long, how long does it take to get the commercial license? It's going quite clear. I say we get this commercial license and we we look to see what we need to do next in the airport. Because, my God, we don't even have toilets in this terminal yet. And we definitely need to build to toilets. Let's get this commercial license. Let's see who we can invite in, maybe. I don't know if that's the next step. And then I think we will wrap this episode up for today. Keeping them short. I really want to keep this, um, this series short. Because, no, not the series short, but I want to keep the episodes short, sorry. Oh, poor guys, look at them, just working here. Um, imagine you're Istvan, you're working, and you've just got Clement Bernard here, just stood over your shoulder, like, going, what's that? What is it, mate? What, what do you want? Just leave them alone, let them do their research. I do feel like I want to decorate this place a little bit more. Perhaps we will. Perhaps we can put some more plants in. What decorations we got? What, what are you? Oh! We can put Christmas decorations up. The airport logo. Oh my gosh. Where can I put that? On the floor? I don't want to do that. I don't want to put the airport logo on. We can put trees in. We can put flower beds in. We can put potted plants. Now... You're expensive. A bandana tree. Let's put... I'm going to put some more potted plants just around here. One there. There's no, there's no real sense to where these go, but it just brightens up the office, I think. It gets that carbon dioxide out of the air. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. Brilliant. So, pause the game. Great. Now, when the outside is built, we should focus on the inside. Passengers will enter the terminal. Oh, cow. Right. So, now we need to look at the check-in centre. Do you know what? I think that that is something for the next episode. Uh, we will finish this for here because we need the check-in thing, but I think we need to extend this runway. Uh, we need to think about hiring more staff. We need to tear down this fence in order to get the terminal working there's a lot to do but we're making some great great progress here and i'm really happy with how it's going so as always if you are enjoying this save uh press a like if you are enjoying the um if you like the channel please consider subscribing to it uh, yes all that stuff i look forward to the next episode of moritz bauer international we will see you guys very soon